everyone. Greetings from Richardson's Hospital. Uh, it's an afternoon over here and I would say quite a pleasant one because uh, when a patient operated by Dr. Sunil comes back, uh, it's always a pleasure seeing the patient hale and hearty. Today, uh, the case that we're discussing is about a road traffic accident, also called as RTA. Now, RTA has always been a very common um, subject of discussion, subject of treatment among maxillofacial surgeons because it's associated with our facio maxillary bone. We have a patient here. I'll go on to show the patient, discuss the case. But first, to my left, we see that there's a pre operative scan. Bike accidents are very common, especially minus the helmet. This patient similarly had a bike accident. He's all 21 years of age. And the bone which he hit upon was his mandible. So this is how his mandible looked. I would like to show a particular scan picture which will be very depictive of the fractures he had. So his mandible was broken in four pieces. I say four because we see one piece segmented obliquely over here. So this is called as a condyle region. So he has a condyle fracture on the right side. Even this scan shows the same. Similarly, there is a fracture obliquely, we can see at the angle or ramus of the mandible which is on the right side. So already the mandible is in one, two and three pieces. Now this third piece is continuing on the other side and it has a fracture right here, almost at the subcondyldal level. So it's a four pieces the mandible is broken into, two regions in the condyle, by condyle I mean the where our joint is, that is a temporomandibular junction. So at this region, the condyle is broken, it's almost a subcondylar on the left, it's almost a condylar neck um, on the right and the ramus or the angle region on the right again. So the four units, apart from that he also had a loss of teeth. So his teeth got, few got subluxated, few got avulsed. By subluxated I mean because of the impact, because of the trauma they become loose and few, one of them particularly came out, so that's called as avulsion. This is the back view if we see how the fracture is going obliquely. So the scans are pretty much depicted that he has multiple fractures of the mandible. Mandible means the lower jaw. Cut to the patient coming here. It's been almost um, 14 days post yes. his recovery. Today 18th. 18th day. Okay, 18th day post his recovery. The key points that Dr. Richardson addressed was with respect to the surgical part was restoring his condylar height on both the sides. That was ensured because bilateral condyle was treated, retromandibular or high incision was made and he addressed the condyle on the right side. Intraorally the condyle was addressed on the right angle. At the angle of the ramus region I would like to mention that Dr. Richardson had uh, intraoral, extraoral both approach because the same incision helped him for both the fracture sites. On the left is where there has been Heinz incision for the condyle on the left side. Occlusion was a primary concern. The functionality should be restored. There should be no asymmetry, no open bite. Just bite once. A little bit more. He has, uh, we want to show his bite as well. He has lost a few teeth in the upper side. However, with the help of arch bar or maxillomandibular fixation in elastics, his bite seems to be as good as earlier. This is a scan which is taken now, which is a post-operative scan. So what we see are the arch bar and there were elastics before that have been removed. So the fracture here has been plated with a two-hole plate. Similarly, a fracture here has been plated with a two plates, four hole each. Coming to the left side, the fracture here has been plated with two plates. Yes, this is your scan and um, it is, I would say it's still healing, no bone heals in two weeks or in 18 days as you said, it's still healing. But it has to be aligned, so that alignment has been done and it is kept in place with these respective implants. Okay. Um, how you fell down, how did this process happen, you fell down, you came to the hospital, accident happened, you were in ICU, uh, then you got treated for the surgery by Dr. Richards, just brief of your experience. I was riding on a bike, straight road, uh, one lady is on the website, uh, under the bridge. Okay. I'm, my speed is uh, 65 plus. Okay. Uh, 
suddenly that lady took right with no indicator no hand sign mm-hmm. so i want to either i want to break break stop the bike or i should break it uh suddenly i went right side mm-hmm. but that will uh, Uh, Pillar was there. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I was scared. Uh-huh. Uh, if I go there now, that's all. Yeah, I right, right. So it's. Uh, so in that overlapping wrong indicator yeah, and you yeah, hit, yeah. preventing the collapse from the pillar, yeah. you fell down. So it's. Uh, from the accident site, how did you reach the hospital? You have any memories for it? Yeah. Uh, one car was uh, coming back. behind you uh, okay was overtaking the car uh-huh. inside the car uh, they will see live accident so suddenly they only called the ambulance i think so okay that's quite good huh. after that in just one minute correct you sharp me one minute ambulance ambulance came okay right so see i will i will check go inside yeah. the ambulance and the uh, first aid was taken with the panam vgh okay okay so other hospital is saying for emergency you were taken there okay and then uh, shushu the you were in icu for few days right yeah four days four days yes yeah. i remember in icu then a clearance was given your ct brain was done everything was fine and then the surgery was done by dr richardson mm-hmm. currently your teeth will be restored the teeth which you have lost what about the chewing I know elastics were there, so yeah. it must be difficult. But Only liquid. Yeah, but you feel your bite is as good as before. Closing, mouth opening, closing. After the closing. accident. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. right now, after the accident, it was very difficult. Yeah. Right now, it's becoming better yeah. with each passing. Day by day, it's better to bite. Yes. Yeah. You can start chewing semi-solid food very soon and solids as well very soon. Just a matter. So with each passing day, there will be improvement. I have seen you day one and seen you now. So with each passing day, there are few abrasions that you have to keep. You have to keep applying ointment for that. Your antibiotic period is over now, okay? But you recovered and you look hale and hearty. That's the biggest thing. You were taken um, on to emergency on time. Your scans are all proof that the treatment is good. Um, so you should recover quite quick. Thank you. Huh? Okay, so uh, it was very generous of him to share a few words with the, our audiences. And uh, with road traffic accident, yes, they are very common. Um, almost at one of the leading causes of death, courtesy and number of vehicles on road have increased. But it's just a message to our viewers that in case one of you or your known person suffers an RT, which is a road traffic accident, get him or her to the casualty, get the emergency treatment done. And if any facial fractures are there, they are treatable, very much treatable after the initial stage of settlement of the patient is done. Yeah. Thank you.